Hi everyone, thank you for coming to the uh, Amex presentation. So this story is a really exciting story. Uh, we made a big discovery back in uh, November of 2008, well December 2018. Uh, so we'll start with all the forward-looking statements. It, it's all online, you can all read these online. The, uh, all our data, qualified person, third-party data. So we'll start with the corporate structure. We're at uh, 66 million shares uh, outstanding. On a fully, fully diluted basis, we'd be at 84 million shares, and we're sitting with about $12 million in the bank right now. Um, Eric Sprout came in. This is his second investment in the company. Um, he, the first time he came in was close to 8%. On our second financing, he increased it to 12%. To 12%. Uh, commodity capital was at uh, four, and, 4 and some odd percent. Now they're at 7%. Uh, management, we're at 13%, and management has all paid for, bought their stock in either private placements or uh, open market uh, open market transactions over over the years. Um, location, uh, we're located in the Abitibi Greenstone Belt. Um, we're uh, we're right in the middle where the uh, the where the Peron property that's called the Shikobi Deformation Zone. So when you look around when you look around there, you have uh, just to the north of us, you have the Hecla, the Casa Berardi. Uh, down below, you have the Halt Holloway mine from uh, Kirkland Lake. Uh, down on the right side, you have the Westwood complex uh, from Mayan Gold. So there's definitely no shortage. Uh, there's no shortage of mines or um, or mill complexes, uh, mill complexes in the in the area. I mean, the Abitibi Greenstone Belt is, is the area that's produced the most gold outside of South Africa. Uh, it's the second largest place. And when it comes to when it comes to uh, location, um, you can drive from, there's a network of uh, roads and highways to get to our property. You can drive from downtown Toronto right to our, right to our property in six and, a half, uh, six and a half hours. So the entire, the entire corridor, so there's, um, this, is, this is inside our, our land package. Uh, there's a wedge, uh, which, is, uh, which is a rhyolite. There's um, eight kilometers of, um, of a fault on the north one, the Normatal fault. You got about seven kilometers on the bottom one, which is the Peron fault. And so far we've, um, we've, we've discovered uh, gold on 3.2 kilometers. So there's still a lot more, a lot more to discover. You've got the, uh, the eastern, from the eastern gold zone, uh, which is a different style of mineralization. I'll show you in the, in the other, in the other uh, slides. So it's, it, that's really high grade. It's going to be underground mining. Great Cat Zone, Gratien, uh, those are the ones we're going to be concentrating on, on all the gold zones. And those are more amenable to uh, open pit, uh, big, big, uh, big tonnage, high tonnage, low grade. So this is just to show you on, along the Cadillac break, um, you have, if you look from the Larone mine to the Musca mine, there's 15 kilometers of of, um, of faults that go along the deformation zone. And when you look from, if you look at those mines that come across every kilometer, kilometer and a half, there's, there's a deposit. You come on top, we're showing ours 15 kilometers. And so far we've discovered four zones. There's three of them because we're just concentrating on the, uh, on the gold zones right now. And if you look, you know, the Abitibi, the, that, you know, the Abitibi has given up 28.8 uh, million, million ounces up to, up to today. Um, the cross section. Uh, this is the cross section of the high grade zone. So you've got the, um, you've got some really spectacular grades there. You're looking at like 300, 393 grams per ton. What's really nice about the 393 grams per ton over 1.7 meters is we took we took the core, we split it in three, and you look at the distribution of the gold. It's it's really quite impressive. You're looking at uh, 236 grams, 600 grams. Uh, 300 some odd grams. So it's really the distribution of gold is um, is uh, quite is quite impressive. The Denise zone, on, uh, which is on on the left side, near surface, it's not it's not at all. Um, I would say that's not economic. But as you get as you get to the bottom, you'll see the number on the right side in, in red. That's uh, that's almost seven grams per ton over 32.2 meters. So it's. It shows you exactly what the what the Abitibi is. As you go deeper, it gets uh, richer and it gets wider. Uh, that's around the 550 uh, 550 meter uh, level. This is a uh, this is a long this is a long section. Um, again, there's there's a whole bunch of grades there. There's no lack of high grade there. There's even 
56.7 grams per ton over over 8.5 meters. There's a dike that uh, sliced that sliced that uh, chute, and now we've picked it up. We've picked it up on the other side of the dike. Now it's completely open. It's completely open in all directions. Uh, uh, at depth. We have um, we have more than 36 drill holes that have given more than 10 grams per ton over over variable widths, and this is just the eastern this is just the eastern gold zone. The Gratien Gold Zone. This was this was uh, discovered discovered back in the late in the late 90s. Uh, it was when when um, um, when Amex bought the property from them. We we reinterpreted everything, and we started getting you know amazing results again. 1.45 meters, 67.52 grams per ton. Four and a quarter uh, meters, 16.77, 4.9, 27.46, and just recently we had that 14.6 on 16.48 grams per ton. Um, this is now has gone. The Gratien Gold Zone has gone over over one kilometer right now on its on its own, and it's about it's about it starts about a kilometer and a half away from the uh, from the Eastern Gold Zone. This is this is uh, this is how we've created the uh, the envelope the envelope right now. This is where it goes over over a kilometer and some of those grades as as we were as we were just telling you about it. And there's two zones. So this is the main zone, and then there's the upper there's the upper gradient with with the main zone. It's it's such a large it's such a large uh, system right now. Then this year we ended up discovering the uh, Great Cat Zone. Um, again, nice intersections, 34, 34 meters at 1.89, uh, 26 meters of 3.42. The one that was really impressive also is that right at, right at surface, we, in, we ended up intersecting it at 20 meters, uh, 20 meters down, we got, we got 28 meters of 1.26, and 20 meters, that's downhole. When you actually do the number, it's, about, it's around 14, uh, 14 meters uh, vertical. So it's actually turning out to being a you know big a big deposit, and this is what the Great Cat uh, uh, Gold Envelope looks like looks like right now. We're going to have to be infilling infilling those, but again, for open pit at surface, there's there's no lack of uh, there's no lack of high grade results. This is about 500 meters north north of the Gratien of the Gratien zone. So in that wedge, we've barely we barely scratched the surface over here. Now the, the big the big blue sky here. We we ran a mag. We already had the three zones identified. Um, all the pink zones, all the pink zones. So three of them are where the existing existing uh, gold zones are at, and all the other ones are all all the new targets. Uh, there's six new targets. We're going to be publishing shortly the results of our last of our last uh, geo geophysical uh, geophysical survey. Um, again, location. Uh, infrastructure. You have everything you need over there. There's the old uh, uh, Normetal mine where it was. Um, now, just quickly on the highlights, we own the land position 100%. We have 15 kilometers of, uh, of faults. Uh, the regional regional geology is definitely hosts multiple deposits of orogenic gold. Um, and currently, we're in the middle of our 100,000 meter uh, drill program. We're uh, drilling. We've already drilled 40,000 meters in uh, 2019. We've got another 60,000 to go in 2020. It's fully funded. Uh, we have money to finish this exploration program and to continue over to the next, uh, to the next uh, program. Thank you.